Welcome everyone, as I promised in the previous video, now in this video we will use Newton's method, which was discussed in the last video, to approximate the value of pi. If you watched the previous video, you have a pretty good understanding of Newton's method, I hope, and if you haven't watched it, go do so right now, please. So, but as a recap, Newton's method is basically used to approximate the values of the roots of a function. For example, if you have some function with a graph like this, and you are interested in finding the value of this root, then you can make a guess, and as I said in the last video, the better the guess is, the more easily you will find the value of the root. Maybe you make a guess as x naught here, and when you iterate using Newton's method, after some point, you come really close to the actual value of the root. So you found an approximation to it. And let me write Newton's formula for the method. It is, if you are interested in finding the m plus 1 x value, all you do is you take the last value and you subtract it. You subtract from it f of xn divided by the derivative evaluated at xn. And this function is, of course, f of x. Well, then, how can we use this idea to approximate pi? To do that, first of all, we should make it so that this, uh, this root here, it is pi. Alright, so we are looking for a function which has pi as one of its roots. So you can find a lot of functions like that, perhaps. But... Which one is the most easiest one, right? Which one is easier to use? The one that I want to use in this video is sine of x. I want to ch choose f of x as sine of x because when you plug in pi for x here, you will get zero. So we note that, this is very important to note, f of pi is equal to sine of pi and this is equal to zero. So, we can use Newton's method to approximate uh, pi because it is one of the roots of our function, which we chose as sine. So, let's make a guess. Let's choose, a, choose an x0 point. And remember, after we complete our process, in a sense, x infinity will give us pi. Obviously, we won't keep on forever, but after couple of iterations we will get incredibly close so let's choose an x naught and i want to write it in blue what can we choose as our x naught well we most of us know that pi is approximately equal to 3.1415 on and on so we could choose three and if we did that it would uh, the process would be very short after two iterations perhaps we would get a very good approximation so i want to choose four as my guess and I think if I choose 4 as my guess, it will make uh, the process look more magnificent, I think. You will really understand how powerful Newton's method is. So if x naught is chosen as 4, and as I said, you could have chosen 3, but I think choosing 4 will make it look a little more spectacular. So I just use the formula. We have, using this formula, we have x naught which is 4 minus f of x naught which is f of 4 maybe i should just write sine of 4 and don't forget we are using radians all right so this is in radians where a radian where pi radians is defined as 180 degrees sine of 4 divided by well we need the derivative function right what is the derivative of sine of x which i can write here the derivative of sine of x and i proved this in a previous video a video that was a long time ago this is equal to cosine of x so we just substitute that so we have cosine of 4 and look at this we have sine of 4 divided by cosine of 4 when you have sine of theta divided by cosine of theta you just have tangent of theta so we have 4 minus tangent of 4 
this is approximately equal to using my calculator and making sure that it is in radial mode this is approximately equal to and I will write in red 2.8421787 and you might be a little you know you might be a little worried because we started at 4 and we are now at 2.8 we passed over 3.14, which is close to pi's value. But don't worry, because this happens using Newton's method. We will come back to, you know, using Newton's method, you can get a greater value, a smaller value than your root. But eventually, for most of the time, you will end up with the value that you are looking for. Now, if we use, if we use x1 value for our, um, for our, to find our x2 value then we will simply have and i'm not going to write all of it minus tangent of 2.8421787 all right so if we do this we now get a, just like i said we now get a closer value 3.150 eight seven and let me do x3 on the new page so for x3 we will have x2 minus tangent of x2 and well if you have tangent of x2 we you will simply plug this in right i don't want to write and take up time it is unnecessary really if you do this I am going to do it on my calculator. When you do that, you get 3.14159287. And let's just do x4 as well. If we do x4, you get 3.14159287. Well, what is pi's actual value? Let me check what pi is using my calculator. <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> you can't make this up. What is pi? Pi is 3.14, 15, 9, 2, 6, 5, 4. It goes forever, of course, but believe me, this part of the thing that I wrote, this is all I see on my calculator. My calculator tells me this much and we were able to approximate pi only using four iterations to the exact same precision that my calculator gives to me right we did first iteration here second one here the third one was on a new page and now the fourth iteration so fourth iteration fourth iteration Give a, gave us the same precision with our calculator. Precision with calculator. I mean, I just think that this is incredibly, I mean, this is incredible. That's all I think. I hope that this, uh, this process of working out an approximation for pi, working out its value was helpful in order to understand um, in order to understand Newton's method, perhaps you could use Newton's method for approximating E, for example, the exponent, right? 2.7, and it goes like that. And you could actually pretty much use this to approximate any irrational number. You would just need to find a function that has that, uh, that irrational number, that number as one of its roots. And then you can use Newton's method, and after a couple of iterations, you will be done. This is it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. I think I said it twice, but anyways, take care. And if you have any comments, please write them in the comment section below. Until then, take care.